Not long after the novel coronavirus mark stop by New Yorkers, Melissa Ketch, 30, decided she wanted something that reflected her personality better than the standard blue surgical face covering. Ketch, who is from Ivory Coast, said she wanted something that would connect her to her African culture. She chose a face mask from a local designer, Edio Sodek, who normally makes clothes from fabrics from the continent. The good thing about it is that it represents my culture. It represents Africa, and I'm from Africa originally. Um, so it was the right way for me to make a statement. So I really like this because, as you can see, it has some room for breathing, uh, as opposed to the regular mask that is super flat. This one has a place for the nose so I can breathe on it. Not only that, I like the color because it fits a lot with my clothes. Uh, I'm pretty neutral, so most of my outfit will look perfect with this. I really like to look well presented. I like to look chic. And mostly when I first saw the mask at the beginning, it was all blue. It was looking like medical uh, mask. And I didn't think that it looked well with my outfit. Um, so I wanted something fashionable to begin with. And I wanted something that I can, I can make a statement. If I go somewhere, everybody can look at the mask and look at it. The factories and designers were very quick to jump on the bandwagon. There were people in factories who had no work to do, and now they do because of masks. So they quickly converted their factories to producing them. At first, they were merely functional or for a medical use, and now they've added fashion masks. So they've done it quickly. That's surprising. So one of the most exciting things I see with influencers is how they are teaching their followers to do makeup in a mask. And they will do, they will show these dramatic makeovers from the nose up to the forehead on how one can look different each day. And once again, this is all about self-expression. And so it's an opportunity with the mask and the makeup to create a different look virtually every day. So that's a big trend right now. So I think that'll be uh, translated throughout the fall season and all of 2021. Oh,